1913 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 plus read by PCGS and proven by CAC. According to Heritage Auctions, the 1913 Lincoln Cent claims a substantial mintage of more than 76.5 million pieces, making the issue relatively available in lower Mint State grades. However, the population tops out at the MS67 grade level, with the red designation, and neither of the leading grading services has certified any examples in higher numeric grades. This plus-graded superb gem was once a highlight of the fabulous Ducker collection. This former Ducker coin is fully struck over both sides, with no weakness in the usually seen areas. The surfaces are medium orange gold, mellowing only slightly to a thin arc of violet near the left obverse rim. It ended up selling for $60,000. 1921 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 65 Re by PCGS. Delightful golden orange surfaces are fully lustrous with a much shaper strike than typically encountered for the issue. A relatively limited mintage of 15,274,000 pieces has made the 1921 S a popular Lincoln Cent with collectors since the year of issue. Though Lincoln Cent specialists are well aware, the casual bidder would be surprised by the relative dearth of gem red examples of the 1921 S in today's market. This is a better produced, better preserved example and it ended up selling for $26,400. 1915 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 read by PCGS. Bowers noted in his guide book of Lincoln Cents, Mint State coins are seen with frequency in the marketplace, but gems with original color, no spots, and sharply struck are rare. Indeed, collectors should have little trouble locating an example in MS64 or MS65 with red surfaces, and even premium gems are offered usually multiple times a year. But superb gems, with the red designation are prime condition rarities. This spectacular superb gem offers impeccably preserved original red surfaces, with vibrant mint luster and terrific eye appeal. The design elements are sharply detailed throughout. It was sold for $40,800. 1950s Lincoln Cent. A beautifully preserved example. Pristine surfaces yield pumpkin orange luster and rich, satiny texture. The coin is entirely devoid of spots, with sharp design elements and incredible eye appeal. It was sold for $10,800. 1963 Franklin Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 66 Full Bell Lines by PCGS. John R. Sinek's Half Dollar design featuring Benjamin Franklin was not due for replacement until 1973 according to the 25-year rule, but the shocking assassination of President John F. Kennedy in 1963 saw a swift movement to memorialize him on a coin, leaving Franklin and the Liberty Bell in the cold. This Philadelphia example from 1963 is notable for its Full Bell Lines detail on the reverse. Bright luster is largely silver but has patches of gold and yellow toning on each side, more visibly the obverse. It ended up selling for $27,025. 1985 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 68 plus read by PCGS. This magnificent 1985 Lincoln Cent is one of the 12 coins certified in this lofty grade at PCGS, with just single finer. The design elements exhibit razor-sharp definition and the pristine original red surfaces radiate vibrant mint luster on both sides. It was sold for $3,475.12 with buyer's fee. 1955 Double Die Obverse Cent. Graded in Mint State 62 Brown by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, the dramatic die doubling on this variety makes it one of the most famous varieties in the Lincoln Cent series, and indeed in all of 20th century U.S. coinage. This satiny Mint State example displays reddish-brown patina and is well struck. Light handling marks limit the grade but are not bothersome. It ended up selling for $2,400. 1968 D. Kennedy Half Dollar, indented by a half dollar struck on a quarter planchet. Graded as AU58 by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, this half dollar was struck normally the first time, then a new planchet was inserted into the press, but it was a quarter sized planchet that was struck by the half dollar press first, thus, the indent shows the flattened eagle of the half dollar along with Kennedy's head incus. A few surface scratches on the obverse cheek of Kennedy perhaps from the ejection process. This error half was sold for $2,350. 1914 D. Lincoln sent in Mint State 64 red. This one comes with CAC sticker for premium quality for the issue. According to Heritage Auctions, although the 1909 SVDB is considered the key date to the Lincoln Cent series, its conditional rarity falls far behind that of many other dates, particularly in the finer red grades. The 1914 D. stands out in this regard, confirming its key date status. Only 1.1 million Lincoln cents were struck at the Denver Mint in 1914, and few high-quality specimens were saved by contemporary collectors. As a result, 
It is many times scarcer in MS-65 red than the 1909 SVDB, and is prohibitively rare any finer. This gem ended up selling for $14,231.25 with buyer's fee on December 3, 2023. 1979 S. Lincoln Cent. Type 2. Graded as PR70 Deep Cameo by PCGS. This is absolute gem in all senses. Coin achieved highest end grade available for immaculate surface preservation, strike level, luster and outstanding eye appeal. Stark contrast is seen between mirror-like fields and frosty device elements. It was sold for $6,363 with buyer's fee. 1949 D. Lincoln sent with repunched mint mark. Vividly toned specimen in mint state 66 red. A 1949 DD repunched mint mark scent refers to a Lincoln scent, one cent coin, minted in 1949 at the Denver Mint with a repunched mint mark. Mint marks are small letters or symbols on a coin that indicate the mint where the coin was produced. In this case, the D mint mark signifies the Denver Mint. A repunched mint mark occurs when the mint mark is stamped onto the coin die more than once, resulting in multiple impressions of the mint mark. This can happen due to errors in the minting process, such as the mint mark being punched onto the die in a slightly incorrect position and then corrected. This attractive error coin fetched a sum of $504 at auction. 1952 Lincoln Cent. Graded in mint state 67 plus red by PCGS. A crisply struck lustrous fire red representative with carbon-free surfaces and outstanding eye appeal. Dye erosion above E pluribus unum is as produced from long and use dyes. It ended up selling for $8,400. 1950 Proof Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR67 Red Deep Cameo by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, following an intermission that began during World War II, proof coinage production resumed in 1950. That first year saw few cameo or deep cameo proofs minted of any denomination. This flawless and beautiful Lincoln scent features fiery orange mint color with deeply mirrored fields and exceptional contrast between those fields and the frosty, highly lustrous, and sharply defined design motifs. It was sold for $18,212.50. 1942 D. Jefferson Nickel. Highly sought after repunched mint mark variety, D over horizontal D. Graded in mint state 65 by PCGS. This well struck gem boasts a lovely champagne rose luster. A very nice piece and among the finest certified for an issue that is rare even in lower mint state grades. Important find for the advanced Jefferson Nickel Collector. It was sold for $8,050. 1928 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded in mint state 65 red by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, the large, trumpet-style mint mark is extremely scarce compared to the normal small S mint mark seen on most 1,928 S cents. This is a spectacular red gem example with golden highlights across smooth, virtually unmarked surfaces. The strike is sharp and bright mint luster glows throughout both sides. This coin ranks highly within its cherry pickers variety. It was sold for $7,200. 1953 Carver, Washington Commemorative Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 by NGC. This half dollar exhibits unsurpassable quality, mark-free, glowing lustrous surfaces with some attractive iridescent reddish gold color over the obverse. Sharply struck with no blemishes of any kind, some mint-made dye lines are noted in the reverse field. It ended up selling for $9,987.50. 1957 Lincoln Cent. Graded in mint state 67 plus red by PCGS. A conditionally scarce superb gem red example of this late wheat scent issue, rare in this grade with the PCGS plus designation. Luster is frosty and vibrant, yielding rich copper orange and rose red hues without carbon spotting. Strike sharpness is similarly impressive. Only a few other coins in this numeric grade share the plus designation. It ended up selling for $9,300. 1919 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in mint state 65 plus red by PCGS. According to NGC, though an armistice was declared late in 1918, the superheated wartime economy rolled on into the following year. The Philadelphia Mint set a record for scent production in 1919 that was not exceeded until 1940 when another war loomed. This issue is common in all grades, and some of the finest early date Lincolns are 1919p scents. Though the amazingly detailed obverse hub of 1916 had already lost of some of its finer features, well-struck examples of this issue from fresh dyes are still quite pleasing when measured against the grossly distorted images from the 1940s-60s. This elusive penny was sold for $3,544.88 with buyer's fee. 1992 D. Close AM Lincoln Cent. Graded in mint state 65 red by PCGS. 
the AM in America on the reverse of the coin should have very little space between the letters. Originally, the design was intended to have a wide space between the A and M in America, but on some of the coins minted in 1992 at the Denver Mint, the letters are much closer together, creating the close AM variety. This interesting specimen ended up selling for $9,843.75 with buyer's fee. 1999 P. Connecticut State Quarter struck on an experimental planchet. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. A fully struck medium gold example with intense satin luster to both sides. The Connecticut counterpart to the Pennsylvania State Quarter that is also struck on the same kind of experimental manganese alloy planchet. This one ended up selling for $2,880. 1948 Lincoln cent in Mint State 67 plus. More than 317 million Lincoln cents were struck at the Philadelphia Mint in 1948, yet none are better than the one offered here. Flawless copper orange surfaces present scintillating luster and bold strike detail. Heavy dye polish appears on the reverse. This penny was bargained for $6,000. 1963 Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS. Type A Reverse. A beautifully toned superb gem. Jade green, golden brown, powder blue, and plum red endow this lustrous and well-preserved silver type coin. The present example is the finest certified by PCGS. It was sold for $11,162.50. 1914 Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR67 plus brown by NGC. As of November 2023, this is the sole finest 1914 matte proof Lincoln in the BN category graded by either PCGS or NGC. It is no surprise that at this lofty state of preservation, this superb gem is flawless. Satiny lustrous matte finish surfaces are brilliant and highlight the deep chocolate brown. As you rotate this beauty in a light, the fine facets of the sandblast finish sparkle and accent hints of steely blue overtones. Every detail is razor sharp. If you seek an exemplar matte proof scent, this is as high a grade as they come. It ended up selling for $8,400. 1956 Lincoln Scent. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus Red by PCGS. The 1956 Scent, 421 million coins struck, is about four times as scarce in MS67 Red at PCGS as it is at NGC. This superb gem representative is one of just three MS67 red coins at PCGS with A plus designation. Only single specimen was reported finer. This one displays vibrant fire orange luster and a bold strike, with no trace of carbon. The eye appeal is stunning. It was sold for $15,600. 1929 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 66 plus red by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, Exceptionally well produced for an issue that is known for the widespread use of worn dyes, this premium quality gem is sharply defined throughout. Satiny and smooth, the surfaces are of further desirability given the full pinkish rose luster that the coin retains. Although mint state survivors of this high mintage issue are plentiful in an absolute sense, most are confined to lower grades due to poor striking quality, subdued luster or numerous detracting blemishes. This example was sold for $7,800. 1975 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 68 Red by PCGS. According to Coin Grading Service, the 1975 P. Lincoln scent came well struck and examples up to MS66 are very common. In MS67 condition they are much scarcer, however with enough searching examples in this condition can be found or purchased. Anything grading higher than MS67 condition is considered rare. This MS68 specimen was sold for $11,812.50 with buyer's fee. 1983 D. Roosevelt Dime. Graded in Mint State 67 FB by PCGS. FB standing for full bands. According to the NGC price guide, as of November 2023, a Roosevelt Dime from 1983 in circulated condition is worth between 15 cents and 35 cents. However, on the open market 1983 D. Dimes in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $300. But this MS67 gem with full bands was sold for $1,968.75 with buyer's fee. 1957 D. Lincoln sent over struck on a Roosevelt dime. Graded as MS61 by Annex. Struck over a previously struck Roosevelt dime with the prior devices and lettering clear in areas. Toned with copper gold on both sides with lustrous fields and minimal signs of handling. It ended up selling for $2,585. Attractively toned 1962 D. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS. Pinkish, olive green, cerulean blue shades grace the obverse surfaces of this quarter dollar. According to David Hall, 
Though the mintage is huge, over 100 million coins, this is one of the scarcer 1941 to 1964 silver Washington quarters in gem condition. There weren't that many saved at the time of issue and most uncirculated survivors have lots of marks and abrasions. This spectacular gem fetched a sum of $5,140.12.